the solar flares have kicked out, the next six years there is a extra stimulus on all the energies that work upon this planet. Whenever these solar flares happen, battles happen, disastrous events happen, at least segments of society could rise. The solar flare activity in the sun has gone up significantly and it's going up further. Maybe about seventeen, eighteen months ago, it started. When the solar flares increase, it has a significant impact on the magnetic field of the planet and the amount of radiation that happens, there are various things, I don't want to go into the science of it. But it has serious impact on all planets, our concern is Earth. A few people who come from Mars, uh, they all have their own problems but On planet Earth, there is significant impact, all life is impacted. Well, once again, because today, we have come to this place in the world, unless you believe, mark my words, unless you believe, you understand. Unless you believe, you understand, you cannot accept anything. This is a very crippling state, but unfortunately people have come to this. When I say you believe you understand, do you really understand how this planet is spinning and how it is going around the sun and how this is all working and how it is impacting your body and how you are living and how your breath is happening, do you really understand? But you read it in the sixth standard textbook. You're a textbook scientist and you know all of it, you know? You know everything. So, essentially, except for a few top-notch scientists maybe, but the rest of them, science is like religion, they just believe. What is said in one book, if you believe, you become religious. If you believe what is said in many textbooks, you become scientific. Very few people are real scientists who are genuinely exploring. So for most of the humanity, I'm talking about the educated class of people, science is generally like religion. Only thing is, with science you could change your opinion after two years, with religion if you change, you'll get poked. Except for that, it is the same kind of belief system. So these solar flares are happening, autonomic nervous system is seriously impacted by this, everybody knows this. I know this from what happens in my system and I see how it is happening in other people's systems. Digestive system, your breathing process, your ability to digest, your ability to breathe and absorb what you need to absorb, everything is affected by the solar flares. So when this started, the solar flares started happening and I felt certain things within my system, then I inquired with a few people, what is happening, it's like feels like this. Then they said the solar flares have kicked out and next six years they will be at a very high pitch, the kind of pitch that we have not seen in our lifetime at least. So now the solar activity, one way is in the Indian traditions and in scriptures and other things. Mm, I'm not an expert on this, but I know it has been said that when solar activity rises like that, 
there could be a lot of death, there could be disease, there could be wars, there could be psychological imbalances, there could be a lot of turmoil in human life and lot of upheavals in animal life, every life on the planet, because it affects your nervous system, digestive system, pulmonary system, everything. Now, is it causing harm to us? No, no. It's just like this. See, suppose the wind is blowing like this. Let's say wind is blowing from this direction. Is that okay? If it blows from that direction? Okay. Now, uh, you are trying to resist it. It'll be a real nuisance. You won't be able to do anything if the wind is blowing hard enough. Or let us say you want to fly. You want to fly if the wind is blowing like this, if you go into the wind, without much effort, without much fuel, you'll just take off. But if you try to go with it, your airplane will crash or your glider will cr crash, whatever it is you're trying to fly. So the wind is a boon for somebody who knows how to use it. It's a curse for somebody else who does not know how to use it. This is true with every force in the universe. So the solar flares also are like this. Well, uh, I did not predict that there will be a pandemic or something, but I knew there will be something happening. Because I don't try to decipher these things with thoughts, I just see things as they are. I knew something not so good will be happening to people, so, in the month of February, we release the death book. Eight years it's been in the works and people who were working on it wanted to be perfect. <laughs> death, you know. <laughs> they worked on it, they worked on it, they worked on it, it came back to me, I worked on it, gave it back to them. Again they come back, one more question, one more question, backward, forward, it's been going on for eight years. Then I put a deadline, it has to be finished by end of January in 2020 and February we published it. Lot of people in India asking me, Sadhguru, you knew. <laughs> hey, I'm not the one who brought the virus from wherever. <laughs> I did not know if I knew, I would have told you, it's coming. I did not know, I just knew that something is not good, people will go through some turmoil. So we released the death book and uh, oof, by March people were dying all over the place. Literally everywhere in the world, March, April of uh, 2020, you remember. So, these solar flares, started about seventeen months ago maybe, which increased its activity. It could go on for another four and a half years. In this time, will humanity bring disaster upon themselves or will they bring realization and transformation upon themselves is in the hands of human beings. This is why conscious planet as a moment becomes super significant. So, this, if you're conscious, this is a fantastic time because I want you to understand this. It is only in the summer when the sun is really hot, all the plants really burst out. They know how to make use of the sun's energy. You will say, oh, very hot, oh. Winter also, of course, you were complaining, but something new. Every season gives you something new to complain. Whether it is a climatic season or your life seasons, always complaining about something because you don't learn how to write it. So these solar flares 
for a spiritual seeker who wants to transform his energy, ah, well, this is a time when everything is cooking really well. I want to make sure all the consecrations I want to do, I finish within this next four and a half years because uh, son himself with me. <laughs> probably, if not hundred percent, this is most probably eighty percent. I am correct on this, but it could be a little off. Probably by mid 2023 to mid-2024, those twelve months probably or at least nine months, it could be at its peak. So at that time, will we bring realization to the world or disasters to the world or will nations start shooting at each other? I don't know. I would like to see something very positive and wonderful happens, but I'm just one man. Am I just one man? No, no. Then why are you keeping quiet? <laughs> I'm just one man. <laughs> in ancient times in India, certain yogis have been described as Sahasranga. That means that yogi had a thousand arms. Do I have? Only thousand? <laughs> I, you said you have an army. I heard that word. Army takes commands. Whatever. Yes, sir. Anyway, I don't want a yes, sir from you, but I want you to come to your senses because this is going to be next few years, a charged up time on this planet. Are we going to use this charge for transformation, realization, or are we going to stab at each other, kill each other, do something terrible to each other because some stimulus is happening in our body, we don't have equanimity, then we will damage each other. This is where we are, you will watch it as it progresses. And there is enough scientific study today to support this, that this is… these solar flares have been marked in the yogic calendar in the past. Whenever solar flares rose to a certain pitch, it is happening all the time, but certain times, uh, I don't think there is any particular kind of time table for that, it is just happens for whatever reasons, I don't think anybody has really figured out why it happens and why the timing of it. Uh, because probably the cycles may be in millions of years, there is nobody here to observe that, exactly why it happens at a certain given time. Our observations are all of a few centuries, so we really do not know. But whenever these solar flares happened, great yogis rose in that culture. At the same time, battles happened, disastrous events happened, sometimes earthquakes happened because the magnetic forces in the planet and the thermal forces in the core of the planet are all being influenced by the solar flares. So, if a volcano erupts, if you have a gallery view of a volcano going off full on, what a fantastic view, you wouldn't want to miss it, isn't it? Only if you are at the foothills <laughs> and you're going to become part of the molten stone, that's not a good thing. So every force in the world is like this. So, when something like this is happening, the populations on the planet should have the wisdom to get themselves to the right place, so that this extra force that is being exerted upon this planet 
could work to our advantage. This is why approaching every aspect of your life becomes super important. Otherwise, there will be pain, there will be death, there will be problems. At least, if we cannot change the whole world, that also should not be impossible in today's level of communication. Because never before, we could communicate with people as we can do today because of the technologies we have. Using the technologies and the solar flares, we can make this next four and a half years tremendous time for humanity. But if we don't, at least segments of society, segments of human population could rise. Those who do not make use of it, we do not know how it will go. It's not like some kind of sweeping disaster will happen, earthquake will happen, flood will happen, it's not necessarily like that. But there is an extra stimulus on all the energies that work upon this planet, the geomagnetic forces and nuclear radiations and the magnetic tail that is there behind the earth and the way moon relates to the planet and how it redirects these energies of the flares towards the earth, what it does. All these things will have some kind of stimulus. When extra stimulus happens, you know like the other day I'm riding on the motorcycle these days, these are all modern motorcycles, when I rode, there was only one mode, my mode. Today there are modes, uh, off-road mode, rain mode, uh, touring and sport. I always keep it in the sport, whatever I ride, because I want it on full power. So, when I'm riding either in India or here, the other day I was riding, well, the rear wheel is little fishtailing a bit, because… Uh, because they are high-powered motorcycles. If you put it on rain mode, it will reduce. What extent means? Ah, oh, it is under around 160 bhp for a two-wheeler, it's a lot. <laughs> if you put it on rain mode, it will become 90 bhp, so that it will become safe. But you know, I am not a safe. <laughs> I… I'll die of boredom if it's safe. So I keep it on the sport mode and ride in the rain. So a little funny, it does little back wheel. But when extra power is there, you can do things which you cannot do without the necessary power, isn't it? So right now, it's that kind of a situation. There is extra everything on the planet and it's going to rise in the next year or so. When this happens, we can either break our bones or we can rise. It's my wish that everybody should rise. Whatever we can do, we should do to see that humanity rises because there is a kind of energy that is very difficult to generate by ourselves. And the entire planet is being influenced by that. If we are seeking evolution, we could have slowly done it. We are not looking for evolution. We are seeing how to mutate you. If you have to attain to your own sense of energy, it would take a very long time. Certain times have been created where it will be at its peak intensity. There is a kind of energy that is very difficult to generate by ourselves and the entire planet is being influenced by that. Mid-2023 to mid-2024, this is a fantastic time.